What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning into the show. I'm your host, MJ. Today, I want to wrap with you guys a little bit about a particular horror franchise that I would say definitely, definitely, it did not progress as well as I thought, or maybe even you guys that grew up on it, maybe you guys who were a fan of it too, would have expected it to actually grow and progress. And I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about my whole thoughts and my whole feelings about the Children of the Core franchise and just a little bit, give you a little bit of roots on the origins of the roots of the franchise Children of the Core, of the Corn, and just give my opinions and what I think the reason why the Children of the Corn, even though it was a, arguably a good franchise, arguably one of the top-notch horror franchises, but did not develop definitely how some of its other uh, predecessors, the, the developers, some of the other films in that genre developed during that came out during the same time. Okay, Children of the Corn. For a lot of you guys that don't know not to know the Children of the Corn, especially maybe, of course, for the maybe you guys that are the young, the, the new generation, the young generation, you guys may not know. But the Children of the Corn was actually one of the one of the top French horror franchises as far as when, it, it, when you're talking about in the 80s. And when you'll say between the mid and late 80s, Children of the Corn definitely was there, okay? The first Children of the Corn film in, in the franchise premiered, I believe, in 1986. Now, a lot of you guys may not know um, Linda Hamilton. Now, Linda Hamilton, a lot of you guys may know Linda Hamilton as Sarah O'Connor from the um, Terminator franchise with Arnold Schwarzenegger. But before there was before there was the Terminator and you had Sarah O'Connor, there was Vicki Baxter, I believe. Yes, her name was Vicki Baxter. And Linda Hamilton, I would say arguably, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. But arguably, I would say, I think, I believe that this is this this the, the film Children of the Corn that premiered in 1986. This was the this was Linda Hamilton's breakout breakout like film or breakout production okay work or project because after this film she did a very she had a, a pretty damn good career. Uh, she was in the Terminator multiple the Terminator franchises. You know she was a main character on that. I believe she was in the uh, Beast Beauty the Beast or something like that. She was in a couple of teleplay series and she was in some other things as well. But her breakout film her breakout project was definitely Children of the Corn. Now, Children of the Corn is that type of cultic type of horror type of film which you're looking for, okay? And that's what type it was. I remember as a kid, a little kid, I had to be maybe, I mean, real young, but I remember when I first watched Children of the Corn, man, I loved the Children of the Corn, okay? I loved Children of the Corn. It was, the, the first film was definitely a, a good film and I loved it. I was a major fan of Children of the Corn. But, I will say that the Children of the Corn franchise, it did not, it did not progress or and it did not continue to to elevate itself like the other films during this time, the other horror franchises such as the Halloween franchise, the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, the Child's Play franchise, etc. etc. Um it didn't it didn't progress and elevate as as well. And I know a lot of you guys may have that question, hmm, or question yourself or maybe answer to yourself. Why didn't the Children of the Corn fr horror franchise last or elevate like it's um, it's other um, other horror franchises in its in its in its in its category and in its specific time frame. Well, I think it's because of when you look at the whole theme. I think the theme has to do with it. I think that the theme of the Children of the Corn fr of the Children of the Corn horror franchise. I think that's what really the reason why it did not elevate as as its other um, as its peer horror franchises as the as its peers. Okay. Um, I just think that the maybe because you had that this was a cultic type horror film, and then you had that 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 very very heavy theme in there. That theme was so controversial. I think that's what really did it. I think when you have all the grown ups, maybe all over, maybe they came to a vote that maybe and then possibly even these production coming like, okay, wait, hey, man, wait a minute, this is not a theme that we would like to push and carry on and majorly publicize to keep and have children like this and thinking like this. You have to understand what I mean by the theme. The theme of the Children of the Corn franchise was basically children of all ages running around basically just killing and eliminating all of and wiping out all of the adults in, in, in their towns and cities. That's what pretty much the theme is, okay? And I think that's what it is. That, that, that's so much, it has such of a dark theme. The Children of the Corn franchise definitely has so much of a dark theme, and this is the reason why I think that it did not it did not move on and elevate as well as it could have. Now, there were multiple films in the franchise uh, as far as Children of the Corn, but I just think they didn't do too well for whatever reasons. Maybe it was um, not published or um, promoted properly. There was a reason for that. 
Maybe because a lot of these top-notch motion picture companies did not want to promote that type of theme. It's such heavy theme, dark theme like that. So this is why the Children of the Corn films didn't get that major push. But I would say, you guys, definitely, 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 the Children of the Corn, I, this was definitely one of my top, one of my films that I loved, like I fell in love with when I was a horror fan way back when I was a young kid. This was one of my, when I would, I would put at the top of my list, if I made a top 10 list, if I made a top 10 list, of horror films. My horror films as a child watching my favorite top 10. Children of the Corn would definitely be in there. The 1986 film Children of the Corn would be in there. I did watch a couple of as I, as I aged and as the franchise started aging. I did watch some of the other films that um, succeeded uh, the first film that came out in 1986. But I just feel that it, it, it didn't get enough attention. I think that Overall, you didn't get the proper casting. You didn't have probably actors and actresses that wanted to be on, on this project. They did not want to be a part of and participate in a project like this because of the heavy, dark theme that it had, okay? Of the whole thought and process of children wiping out adults. Could you imagine, could you imagine if they promoted Children of the Corn, how they promote Halloween or Nightmare on Elm Street or um, The Exorcism or... Uh, Child's Play, could you, or Friday the 13th, could you imagine the effect that that probably would have, would have, would have had on generations and generations um, from the 80s moving forward? Could you imagine the impact that could have had? So I'm thinking this is probably a reason why the Children of the Corn franchise did not do so well. But that's all I have for you guys. I just wanted to wrap with a little bit for you guys and t talk to something. You know, this, this was, this was an actual horror franchise that I really held to the heart and I just, I was disappointed that it didn't it didn't do as well as I thought that it could did. It's just that you didn't have enough people, I think, that wanted to uh, attach themselves to this franchise just for the uh, for multiple different reasons, especially the heavy, dark um, theme, definitely. And like I said, that whole just concept of children running around killing parents throughout the town, eliminating parents, I, I mean, like I said, could you imagine the damage it could have done? But I really w wish they could have, you know, elevated this franchise properly, the Children of the Corn franchise properly. But because... I can honestly say, the films that came after this one, definitely, even the ones that came out later on, later, like 10 or 15 years later, the ones they tried when they tried to make different films of Children of the Corps, different segments, I just really didn't have that same feeling for them as I had for those first two films. Those first two films was definitely, even number three, the first three, the first three films of the franchise of Children of the Corps, I definitely liked them. But after that, it just started, you know... Uh, but that's all I have for you guys. I'm curious to know what are your opinions, guys? Did, did you like the Children of the Court franchise as a whole itself overall? What did you think about the uh, uh, Children of the Court franchise? And what do you think the reason why it did not elevate as much as it could be? That's all I have for you guys. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, peace.